In this video we are going to be creating the simplest module with controller and custom template. We will be defining the module in the info file, we will be creating the team function in the .module file and we will be creating the simple controller. Then we will create the routing for the controller and the actual tweak template. So we have a simple vanilla Drupal instance here and we'll switch to the code base. Under modules custom we'll create our module folder. We'll call it Drupal up controller and with the name of it we'll create also a new file called Drupal up controller dot info.aml and here we have to define the name of our module controller with template description our nice module with controller and template I would have to say that type is module and the core is 8.x that's our info file so the next thing we want to do is we want to create a dot module file where we are able to define uh, hook functions. So let's go ahead and check in Google for Drupal 8 hook team so that we know from the Drupal documentation which variables we have to pass to it. So we copy this bit here and we go ahead and say function and instead of hook we would have to put the name of our module so we say Drupal up controller and here we would have to return actually our custom team which we would be able to use in the controller that we will define later so we say return and we are returning a array and in the array we could say the name of our team function so we would call it article article list and for it we could say we want to pass these variables uh, we could say we want to pass uh, a list of articles which would be called items let's call it just items which would be an array and we would also pass the title of our list title and this would be a simple string that's great we are ready with the team function so we save here we can go ahead and say uh, that we are basically implementing the implementing hook team it's always a good practice and afterwards what we want to do is we want to already define our controller so in order to do that we would create a new folder in our module and it would be called src and then in the src folder we want to create a folder called 
controller and in the controller folder we would basically put the controller name that uh, we would use also for the class and we would call it uh, Drupal We'll just call it. Let's just call it article controller. Want to put dot php at the end. That's great. And basically here uh, we have to define the namespace. And the namespace would be uh, starting with Drupal, then the name of our module, controller, and then the folder controller. Great. And uh, in addition, we could extend the controller base we don't have to do it but let's simply create a class called uh, article controller and in this class let's define a public function called page and basically this page is uh, where we're going to be rendering the the page of our controller so we would have to be returning uh, so return array and in this array we could say team and we could say the team that we just created the team function that we just created it's article list and in addition we could pass also the variable so we would pass once the items it would be uh, an array of items article items we would create it uh, in a second and then we we'll pass also the title let's call call it our article list uh, so regarding the items let's go ahead here and create uh, an array of items an array of arrays with uh, name article one let's say article two article two article three and article four that's great now we want to create the routing of this controller which would be in a file called the name of our module Drupal up controller dot routing dot EML that's great and here uh, we're going to be starting with namespace which would be again the uh, namespace is the name of our module Drupal up controller and we say article list this is something completely random and then the path this would be the path that we would put in the uh, web browser so we'll call it Drupal up and then articles uh, then we can define defaults and here under defaults we could say controller 
and basically the namespace path to our controller so it would be Drupal then Drupal up controller then controller then Drupal uh, then it would be Artico controller this one here and then we would have to put also the name of the method that we created there it is called page and we can put also title of the page it's our custom article list and in the end we can go ahead and declare also requirements and as requirements we could say permission access content that's the very basic permission uh, so we just activated for this page and the last thing really the last thing here we want to do is we want to create the actual template so we'll create a templates folder and under the templates folder we'll create a new file which would be the name of the theme that we declared so it's article uh, but instead of underscore here we'd have to use dash and say list it's the the name but instead of underscore dash and to say dot html dot tweak that's great and we would want to put the title up in let's put it in h4 what the in h4 uh, and we would simply uh, print the title that's the title variable that we're passing and for the items we could for each the items with four let's say our article in items since we're we're passing items and then we're for reaching them as article and here we can say art article dot title which would simply render the title of the article and here we say n and and for and just let's go ahead and put it in unordered list ul and each of the article titles into li's that's perfect we're saving it and let's go ahead and check if our module does what it's supposed to do so we go under extend and we'll search for our module here Drupal up controller with template we activate it that's perfect and if we now go under Drupal up articles we see our custom page that's the routing that we declared to declare this part in the routing uh, we declared also the title in the routing uh, the page title comes also from the routing and directly underneath this bit comes from the template that we declared it's the title variable that we're passing to our team function and here are 
our article titles that are for each and that are rendered. If you like this video, please check the links in the description, like, subscribe. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them. Have a great day and thanks for watching.